playoff adventure. And it starts in the hands of Jimmy Butler. This is Kyle Lowry, met by Trey Young. Now Van Adebayo looking to have his first breakthrough game of this series as Kevin Herter fouls Max Struess. The starting lineup has, has really played with, with great aggressiveness. Had a strong game, too, when they're inaccurately thrown, but that ball was deflected. First turnover for either team in our first minute of play as DeAndre Hunter goes to work. Athletic player out of Virginia. Puts it up softly and knocks it down. A very physical, has that ability to create his own shot. He's 6'8", too, so he can shoot over top of the defense. Was able to gather there and give that soft roll at the rim. Hawks haven't had many leads, and they don't hold that one very much a game in, in the first two. He's looking to get on track after sort of having to take the week off in health and safety protocols leading up to this year. Gallinari on a bump, they can score. He's kind of whiffed on it. That allows Gallinari that quick turn and finish in the paint. Lowry trying to set a screen for Butler, who has Kevin Herter defending. Now Bam comes to set it. Butler doesn't use it. Fires from the baseline and sticks it. Butler. Jimmy, he's 2 of 18 from 3. Butler drives in. Got the basket and drew the foul. And Jimmy's on ticket. Comes back for more. Jimmy... Punishing Atlanta at the check for Miami. Trey Young missed his only shot so far. Bam switches out to Young. Seven on the shot clock for Kevin Hurt. Now Gallinari will fire a long two at Barry. Second score for the 33 minutes. Two point heat lead. Three minutes in. That's Hunter. From Young, he scores. Well, he gives up a willing passer early. And that makes him more dangerous, in my opinion, because the Heat can't just lock in on him. A deep three kaboom for Kyle Lowry. That's his fourth triple of the series. His first score at Gate Fortune up there with Lowry driving. That whole backcourt was open. Trey Young. Him up with a quick foul, and, uh, you know, it makes the defender think twice the next time, right? Because not only did for them, this gentleman collectively, let's take a deep, deep breath. Patience by Trey Young reading the defense. Young, double team, puts it up over Bam and misses. He down at Jimmy Butler. 640 left, first quarter. He ahead by three. Butler already with seven points. Shot clock at seven. Shot clock at three. Butler, one legged turnaround. And Bam battling for the rebound that pops out to Butler. 14 back on the shot clock. Lowry against Hunter into the paint. Out to Struess. Tucker with two to shoot. Lowry got to let it fly. Got a piece of the rim. And we get a foul down at this end. And it's going to be on John Collins of the Hawks. That's Collins first, Whew. the 14 foul wow. in Atlanta. John, that was a very good defensive segment yes. for the Hawks. Until the very end, right? And Miami continuing to keep their composure, move the ball around. But that was a tough shot there that Kyle Lowry had to take with the short clock. Leader one of six from three. Butler comes free and slams it through on a nice pass from Bam. That miscommunication where they both switch out, leaving Jimmy on the dive cut. And Bam always has his head up. Great awareness as a big guy to be able to look over the defense and, and deliver assists. Nine quick points for Butler. A five-point lead for Miami. Here's Collins. Oh, a second foul on Kyle Lowry. A reach-in foul for Lowry who picks up his second foul seven minutes into the game. And this is interesting here because this substitution typically is Tyler Hero coming in for Jimmy Butler. But with two fouls on Kyle Lowry, they're going to take Kyle Lowry out, leave Jimmy Butler in just right there as the reach in by Kyle Lowry. Oh, my. Hawks throw it into the backcourt for an over and back. They've been one of the early storylines of this series. Nate McMillan's Atlanta Hawks committed the fewest turnovers per game in the league this year, under 12 again. They have averaged 18 and a half turnovers in the first two games of this series. And Nate McMillan said, if we don't handle their pressure better, it's not yeah. going to be a very long series. No, it's a great point. And it's it's, it's a shocking number to see a team who's been so good managing the basketball and 
much of that has to do with the pressure uh, that's being put on Trey Young and the decisions that he's made. He had 10 turnovers in that last game. Max Strews stepped on the sideline out of bounds. A little bit of a shaky start on the offensive end for Miami. Uh, you can just see the energy and effort uh, in intensity on the Atlanta side, E, from a defensive perspective, their best start defensively so far in the series. 5.20 left, first quarter here in Atlanta on a warm Friday. Bam, deflects the Trey Young pass and steals it. Hits ahead for Hero. Herder's back. Struess, back to Tyler. Open three. Kaboom. Wouldn't take Tyler long to warm up. Plug him in. He's ready to score. Love that extra pass from Max Cruz too. He could have taken the shot. Tyler had a better one from the comfy corner. Kevin Herter gets the score. Ends Miami's 7-0 run. Herter's first field goal. Heat ahead by six. Tucker on a nice pass for Tyler Hero. He missed it. And the rebound taken by Kevin Herter. Struess is back. This is DeAndre Hunter. Bam switching out to him. He'll fire a three. And Tucker down with a rebound. Hawks are 0 for 3 from downtown. Bam on the post. And John, that is very reassuring. Bam out of bio, who's been out of sync on the offensive end through the first two games of this series, has made his first two shots of game number three. Yeah, it really looked like he was in great.